right hello there everybody and uh, welcome to the third place game of the tpm cup in fact we are looking to go ahead with this game now between not a crew and kia we had some players missing but we should be able to start this very very soon now and uh that means we will have some uh unusual players definitely lining up but i think that's definitely a better option here for both sides rather than postponing it as well it's going to be one of the uh, one of the final games anyways of the uh, this cup season and uh, talking about going into this of course we can uh, take her take a look at the brackets so far and how these teams got into the final four and uh, right now there seems to be a problem as well which i'm gonna have to fix real fast something to do with transfers and um, just a second here. So we are possibly. Uh, possibly not a crew is needing a final signing here so that's something that's just uh, holding us back but we're gonna can uh, go over the brackets a little bit here we can see in semi-finals were, were tough definitely Kia could not really uh, do much against Tiki Tackle in the end even though the second game did go uh, to penalties there and New Factory defeated not a crew very safely in the end and not a crew surprised snazzy then in the quarterfinals And it uh, looks like both teams actually do have the players uh, readying up. We can uh, talk a little bit about the size then. All right now, Kiek is starting with Lens, Francesco, Totti, Duke, Travo, and Pasquet. Totti, one of the newest signings for Kiek, a strong player coming over from Not a Crew. And uh, that's definitely making Kiek even a better side here. Looks like they won't be opting for a human goalkeeper there, even though I think they have the players available. No, actually, they don't right now. And uh, not a crew then. Well, they are playing with a little more unusual squad here. We don't see John Jay playing, for example, who definitely did a very good job against Napoli and Snazzies, playing large body as well. But uh, instead, we're going to see... And we are going to see we're going to see uh, Luffy and Pio playing then for another crew side. It's uh, interesting as Luffy is the last minute transfer agreed by Kiex side as well that another crew can sign one more player just to fill the spots. And uh, Pio here returning from a break, as I understood, he has been having trouble with uh, with Ping and hasn't been very active recently, but we know the importance uh, he had in Endgame, how much he definitely carried that team. So, not a crew, you know, they probably won't be missing Catfish too much if they have Pio available here, and uh, going to be definitely a good um, step in for Gio as well, possibly, who won't be here. And... Um, that means we can probably start uh, going over to go over to the game soon. Say so yeah, once more over the bracket, of course. Um, Kiak actually had a pretty insecure start in the Swiss stage for example they definitely had troubles there but uh, mostly of course it came down to the draws uh, unlucky pairings uh, in
like a new room has been made because uh, penalties still need to be on of course uh, the third place game is going to be played out in uh in a best of three format as well The teams are still gathering, so we can uh, probably go over some statistics as well, actually. Um, it's been wild, of course. I think the Swiss stage results um, impacted them quite a lot. Uh, the top scorer is still Vienna, and uh, it's hard to say, will he be getting that title as well, since he hasn't been uh, playing uh, since, as Galtus Rai did pull out uh, early. And uh, it's been it's been tough for their players, definitely, and uh, maybe even a bit unfortunate because they uh, they ace the Swiss stage still. But uh, uh, right now, other than other than Vienna, the other top scorers are Polter, Lampicu, and Levy Sun. Polter with thirty three goals, uh, eleven more than Lampicu, and uh, assist table is being led by Levy Sun, twenty five assists. Surprisingly, him usually being the Man up front, but this time we're only supporting his teammates and Menes with 15, Mukian with 12, captain of a tiki tackle side. And um, looks like we are going to be starting over with the Kirknold crew game just in a few minutes, then it seems it's still warming up. Like a list of the lineups, of course, then Kiak most likely starting with Lens in defense. Uh, we have uh, Duke here as well, probably as a defender, uh, has picked up medium body size. And um, Francesco Todi, uh, Pasqui Chavo, probably the front uh, three, so to speak. And Pasqui is uh, maybe the striker here. Maybe it's going to be Totti and Pasqui and Chavo on the wings. Not a crew. Well, still a pretty defensive lineup considering uh, Jin, Pio, Brewer, and Talawa, both uh, pretty much defenders are. Luffy, uh, the only non defender really in that team, as he probably will be played up front. And Pio, possibly together with him, Pio has been playing uh, midfield sometimes. Uh, Jin as well played actually casually up front against Nazis and did very well, scored the winner, the most important goal on uh, just uh, injury time on already pretty much and managed to kick Snazzy out of the competition. It's definitely very surprising. But we are ready to start any second now. We will switch over to the field then. And about this, of course, not a crew. Well, they are more, um, more gilded side than Kiek, definitely. I think it's uh, it's definitely a more 
uh, it's a bigger thing for Kiek to be in here with this new squad. They pretty much built uh, from scratch. They do have some former players, of course, here, but it's still a uh, big, big thing. And uh, here we're going to see the kickoff. Fast hit starting the game for Kiek's side. Lens over to Duke Totti. Kiek definitely going to be playing a passing game as well. We've seen Nota Crew play that uh, immaculate defensive play. It did work against Napoli, it did work against Nazis, but not, uh, not well against New Factory, who just overpowered them. We'll see how much different Nota Crew's play style is here without John Jay, for example, who definitely was an anchor man and managed to work very, very well, box, box to box as well. Brewer here already advancing, Totti very close by. Is he challenging for a cross? Yes, he is. Laffy is actually, well, for a second he was free, but he's going to be charged down. Nice lob over the top, but Talua won't reach it. Laffy over to Brewer. Totti uh, just keeps it in the play. It was close to being a corner kick there. Duke. Duke switches the wing over to Lenz. Lenz trying to free up space now, but doesn't find Totti with the pass. Brewer. Plays it back, hard to escape the defense, but these lobs do work. Jane picks it up, and we see yeah, Luffy and Talwa playing up front. It's kind of a 3-2 three, uh, three, formation we're seeing here. Jane trying to pressure Chavo. He does have the medium body, so he could possibly push Chavo off the ball here. But Chavo instead commits a foul on Brewer, P.O. Ball was a bit loose, but Brewer picks it up. Talwa on the wing, sprinting upwards. Actually did very well against Nazis, Talwa. Um... Had actually very many opportunities, can score a lot, but still uh, very, very sharp up front. This time it goes out, and Kiak already on the counter here. Paskit against quite the many of players there. Maybe he can pass it inside here, but the pass is too short. Duke gets to slide it. Totti couldn't latch on to the rebound. Paskit, and just a wall of players there, but Paskit. Gets the shot off, hits the post, and it bounces into the fingers of the goalkeeper there. Not a crew now. Lucky to escape from that with uh, with the zero. P.O. over to Jin. Jin allowed a lot of space and time on the midfield. Brewer. Find someone else there, maybe. Brewer. No short option really provided, so he has to go for the cross, but it's going to be dealt with by Kiek's players. Bro, now has to pass it back to Pio. Pio doesn't want to go up too much, you can see, because Jin is medium as well. He probably won't get to uh, run a race against Paskit, so Pio is usually left back to uh, to make up for any mistakes that could come from uh, another crew's side up front. Brewer wins the ball back nicely. Luffy, though, cuts inside, but that might have been the wrong move here. Duke Lens closing down the attack now, and Brewer can't win it back either. Totti on the wing. Pio already pressing him. Maybe gets the ball away. No, Totti just takes a step back. Chavo here has been improving a lot, definitely, in Kiak. He's been a driving force and still pushes his way through. Goalkeeper secures the ball, though. Was close to... Being a problem there, Chavo picks the ball up, already a shooting position actually, but Noah decides to go back and is just confusing all the defenders there, Duke didn't get to slide it inside, gets pushed away by the goalkeeper, Duke once again with a header this time, Paskid with a long shot and that goes in, Pio doesn't get into position to block it in time, and that puts Kayak up front, 1-0 right now. And Kiek definitely very happy about that. They've been having more pressure on the game so far. And nicely found Paskid. So open in the middle. Chavo nicely lofts that pass over to him. And Paskid will double the lead. Kiek quick fire two goals now. Not a crew. Well, they are suffering right now a little bit. Looks like the defense isn't working out too well. Well, that three-man line just isn't very coordinated. Of course, hasn't been playing together too much. And there is the third. Duke has been having headers before already this game, but now one has gone in. And here's the third goal for Kiek's side. Pio. Nice ball finds Talua. Talua will he go for a cross instantly? Yes, he does. Luffy completely misses the ball, though. Kiek. Looking to start their own play instead, but it is Talua here winning the ball back and keeping it for another crew as well. Good pass, 
does reach Bro. Duke shoulder to shoulder with him. Brooke trying to maybe even get a shot on target here, but he's being pushed away from the box. And in the end, the ball goes away. But there's Taloa. Maybe he can still sprint forward. Chavo's side is closed down. The wings aren't really a favorable option right now for another crew. Brewer still trying to find someone with a pass, but Chavo always one step ahead. Pass here against Pio now. This is the real one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe Totti will make it in time. Yes, he does. Totti, already a shooting position. It's a good one. And there it is. Pio misses that one as well. Francesco Totti. Kiek is now 4-0 up. And not a crew. Not defending well at all here. That lineup, of course, experimental that is. But they are not really surviving the pressure of Kiek right now. Pio picks the ball up, definitely has to be a goal here, but Brewer's pass is just way too weak. We'll never reach Luffy. <laughs> and Francesco Totti making a mistake on his end as well. Luffy picks it back up, but not a crew, just not really making a step into that final third. It's really hard to get that ball through. Jin with a lob now. Luffy trying to push Duke off the ball. He gets inside the box, but no, Brewer is outside. It's a great shot, and Brewer gets one back for not a crew. Well played there. And so, uh, Luffy gets the assist to his name. And it's going to be the halftime as well. He had 4 to 1 in the lead now. Well, it's been. Uh, it's been quite one sided. Still, not a cruise attacks. Haven't found a lot of luck right now. Pio. Maybe attacking downwards is better for another crew. They did get the winning goal against Nazis attacking downwards, I think. Gene scored the header there in that uh, in that final game. But now Kiev recovering possession, starting their own attack. This is a brilliant ball. Chavo will get to it and he should be able to shoot it right away. But he picks the near post and that was the wrong move. Goalkeeper gets to parry it. Lens a searching ball through. But Totti, the ball evades him, gets just past him underneath him, I think. Pio. Just to get the ball off. It's really hard to rob Totti here. Chin clears it, but it was just an illusion. Pasquid picks it up again, and Pio concedes a foul. It's actually a pretty bad one as well. He was close to being one of the last players there. Pasquid, great effort. Duke back inside. Pio clears it. Luffy there. And Duke commits a foul just to stop the counter-attack as Brewer was creeping up on the other side. But in the end, no panic from Kiak. They got everything under control right now. Not a crew just gifting them the ball. Lens. Lens over to Chavo. Chavo to Lens. Ask it. Trying to find Chavo. Maybe the ball is too weak. No, it isn't. Chavo picks it up. Tries to push it past Halua. Back to Paskit. Enough enough ch channels given by Not a crew to play in here. And this goes wide and outside of the play. Chains throw in, however, too long. Lens picks it up on their own side. So it's a searching through ball in, but that ends up in the goalkeeper's hands. Askid will be shutting down the goalkeeper. And that's nicely played because Duke definitely has the upper hand there uh, against the attack of Not a Crew. And Paskid is there, and that ball just coasted through the defense once again. Another goal coming through in Kiek. 5-1 in the lead now. The game should be almost done. Well, not a crew. They still have time to make a comeback happen. But with the current playstyle, it just doesn't look very convincing. Talua. Long cross in. Actually, a floating one wasn't even long. Just at the center of the box. Still Kiak. Better with the timing in the air. Pio wins the ball back. But it only ends up at the feet of Pasquid. Now it's Totti instead. And not a crew... It's just one or the other situation. You can't stop all of Kiek's players. They scramble that ball back finally into their own defense. Brewer should be able to pick it up, but it goes wide. Was an opportunity to evade Duke there. Long throw. Totti should reach it. Pio is getting really close, but Totti uses his body well. Wins the throw in. Pass it. Just kicks it clear. Pio is going to be taking it. Trying to find Luffy. He does, but Chavo's here to already cut away the pass. Pio only for a second he managed to touch the ball. Goalkeeper intercepts this cross. And Chavo, what can he do with the ball here now? 
goalkeeper gathering it for a second time. Luffy nicely evades Lenzer and he has to make a run for it now. He's passed all the defenders. Luffy has to slot it away. Yes, he does. Second goal for another crew. And the pot goalkeeper actually gets the assist in this situation. Very rare to see, actually, in a game like this. But here it is. Well played from Luffy. Nicely turned around from Lenz. And Chavo trying to dribble his way through everybody. Doesn't exactly work out. However, there's Totti. Totti has a mean mean shooting foot. We know that. But it's being charged down. Luffy maybe pushes it forward. No, instead, back to Pio. It goes. Nice lob over the top. These usual endgame passes we've seen back in the day. But still, Talua just a tiny bit offside. Pio. No, leads it to Luffy instead. Luffy. It's too confused. Totti even a little bit. Brewer can't cut inside and has to take that foul. Because Chavo was already way up. Jin nicely cuts away the pass. Luffy over to Brewer. Nice combination from Not a Crew. Charging up the field. Ideally, you'd like to have that lobbing, lobbing cross in. And well, it was that, but it was just way ahead of these players. In fact, three of them were inside the box, but it just managed to escape from all of them. Not a Crew. What a chance it was to make it three. The time is. Uh... Time is really ticking down as well here. For another crew. Option is to take it to penalties, but they need three goals for that. Lens. Long ball over. Pasky Totti opened up on the wing. Talua here. Trying to maybe body him. No, Totti nicely keeps his space and turns around. Can't really shoot from there. Tries to low cross it in. Duke was charging up into the far post and that ball is going nowhere. Lenz picks it up. It is still Kiax attack and it just might end this way as well in this first game. Now a little bit of a miscommunication here. Pio picks up the ball. Can't really find an opportunity to pass anywhere. Another crew's players are all behind Kiax line. And uh, no runs are being made. Paskid, nice ball over the top here. It should not be offside. And uh, surely isn't. P.O. clean tackle though. Luffy being uh, being bullied there by Lenz on the wing. Talua. Or not in position to pick it up. Lenz already over the top. Jin intercepts it nicely in the air. Talua sprinting upfield. Duke takes him down and actually takes a card here as well now, already on the orange card. But it is 19th minute as well, so nothing really to risk with anymore. This should be game over now as well. 5-2, Kiak, not a crew. The first game ends and well, it wasn't, wasn't maybe the best showing from not a crew, but they are here with a more experimental lineup and got their players in uh, in a hurry, so it be, can be... can be like this we can get back to the studio now until the second game is being made of course going to be seeing the reverse fixture as well as every game has been a best of three and um, I'm guessing we will be seeing no human goalkeepers tonight as Kiak has nobody available and um, Looks like Nota Crew as well obviously won't be getting another player, so it will just be like this. A great showing, of course, from Pasquid and Chavo. Their combination has been working really well, and Pasquid has really blended in uh, to Kiak and their team's style. They have a nice mix of that short passing, maybe reminiscent of Snazzy style, but also the way... Not also the way Victoria plays a little bit with the um, lobs uh, interchangeable and little underlaps as well. Not a crew currently waiting for their fifth player. Talua, Brewer, Luffy are ready. And Pio has currently left. Of course, another crew ideally would like him to be available. He hasn't logged out and he's back here. 
They're still waiting on Jin to show up as well. And um, we will have the final played out tomorrow as well between Tiki Tackle and Noob Factory. That game will be played. Um, game will be played 6 p.m. GMT tomorrow, and that's uh, 8 p.m. in Eastern European time. And definitely tune in for that as well. This will be streamed uh, and will be casted by me and Ilval. And uh, looks like. Looks like another crew will be changing servers due to ping issues. Yes, here we are now. Both teams are starting to get ready in the second leg of the third place game. Of course, we will have of course, we will have um, a league coming up soon as well, but that's in January. And uh, meanwhile, we'll he'll have uh, best of the year awards uh, running right now. The nominations have been open today, so uh, if you will, please cast your nominations of players you think deserve to have these awards. I have different categories, of course, the usual ones, uh, strikers, midfielders, defenders, goalkeepers, uh, community star award, of course, and uh, various, various other ones where you can also provide feedback. But, uh, I will be going over, uh, switching over to the warm up because the teams are almost ready. Our crew against Kiek. And uh, surprisingly, moving into this, I expected, of course, this, for this to be a very close affair since. Another crew managed to shut down so many teams earlier already in the season, also in the Swiss stage actually. And uh, their style got much more defensive and compact uh, across the playoffs as well. Of course, they had to kind of shake off the shock of playing no factory now. And obviously, these activity issues will have a stamp on their game. But. I don't know what can you do. Obviously, some people can't play according to the schedule every time, and that's just part of life. Jin, Po, and uh, as it is, of course, not a crew. Just need a win. They don't need a huge amount of goal difference to bring it into the third game, but ideally, they definitely like a win from their lens. Bravo. Luffy already opening up nicely, but can't make a run for it because, well, Lenz and Duke were very close to closing him down, and he could have probably made a slide happen nicely there. Lenz in defense, trying to charge up, trying to find an empty alley there. Luffy now on the wing. Not a lot of help from other players, though. Not a crew. Uh, not moving a lot of force. Upfield, you can see it's just usually Luffy, maybe Brewer opening up the other wing, but there's nobody else right now. Talu as well, I guess, is being told to be a little bit more defensive right now, uh, playing on the side where Luffy is as well. So we're probably going to be seeing only Luffy here. Right now, it's looking almost like a four on one. Uh, I, I'm sorry, 4 1 formation. I mean, look at the line currently, not a crew is having here. And Luffy is being kept up just to uh, scout the ground a little bit. Maybe, maybe it's just camp up the field, pick up these long balls, and it might be even working out. Taloa, does he get the ball? No, Chavo used his body excellently there and uh, just bodied Taloa over. And uh, now we're seeing 
a possible mistake from Duke's side. Yep, that's the case. Pio plays himself around Totti. Maybe didn't expect something like that himself even, but the cross, well, could say failed. Nobody was running onto it and it was a bit too wide. Duke on the side. Francesco Totti as well on the left wing could be making a move up. Pass it. Picks it up. Francesco Totti could be charging something up here and Chavo is played on side and that is perfectly coordinated from Kiak. The Turkish duo has done it here. Kiak take takes another early lead here. Pio. Trying to find something. Brewer, maybe trying to repeat what Kiak did before, but it doesn't happen. Lens standing strong in defense. Francesco Totti nicely switches the wing. Chavo picks it up on the right side. Maybe an opportunity to push it to Pasquid, but Chin says no to that. Luffy running onto that ball. They have to be fast with it before Kiak's defense arrives. Right now, it was just Lens. Luffy goes for a shot himself from an angle that was nearly impossible, and goalkeeper had really no trouble with it. Pasquid now trying to play for the pace because Jin has medium body. He can beat him. Pasquid back to Chavo. Brewer being tackled there. And uh, a cynical foul here from Chavo. Didn't even kick the ball away here, but at least it stopped Not a Cruz's initial attack. Long ball. Lenz misses the header, but it should go out the field. No, there it is. Talua secures it still. Ball stopped in his tracks. And there's a good one. Luffy, can he get the rebound? It hits the post. Really unlucky here for Luffy. Did his best. And they still win the ball back. Talua's tackle wasn't dirty, apparently. Brewer. And they've been forced back, of course. And that pass ends up in Kiak's box. Only for Lenz to take it. Chavo. Pass it. Oh, and Pio misses the ball there, allowing Francesco Torri to... Make his move upwards. Advancing still. Pasquid Lens inside the box. Pasquid maybe going for a shot himself. Could charge it. Lens trying to find Pasquid once again. Talawa makes himself big there. Luffy has to beat Chavo on the wing. It's really hard to get past Chavo. We've seen that from the first game as well. Totti clears it nicely. Pasquid picks it up. Making a run for it. Pio is there. Has to tackle it away just for a second, you know. Win some time for another crew to deal with uh, with the setup here. Kiak, Arti on the wing, Chavo supporting could be a long one, but no, it is back to Chavo here. Pasquid getting blocked. Luffy trying to keep it for another crew. Talua has to charge up. Good touch here. Maybe can even shoot. Could have won a foul even here it is, but no, the ball just bounces so awkwardly. Luffy couldn't hit it at all. He wasn't forward enough for it. Francesco Totti, Talua, or to Lenz, Chavo, Jin making some pressure but not committing, Chavo, he wins it back but still, Kiak has no problem, they leave that one other crew player in attack as well, meaning the other crew usually having to defend with less players, and uh, Kiak as well likes to, likes to involve all of their players now in attacks as we've seen, Brewer loses the ball out to Totti a little bit too easily. Well, the crew this time have their players back, but Pasquid is played upfield. Jin trying to hold his position, but he's medium and it's really tough. Pio, and that's a penalty for Kiak. Was late to the cha with the challenge, and it's going to be Chavo taking it against Jin. And Jin saves it, and can he save the second one? Yes, he does. The follow up is being parried as well. Jin, the hero here. And of course, sometimes some teams would kick it out as a uh, mean of fair play now. But there it is, and Jane doesn't get the second, well, the third shot actually. And Totti gets the goal to his name finally. Not a cruise defense couldn't really intercept it. Still, great effort from Jin there to make the initial stops against Chavo. And it is 2 0 for Kiak as we switch sides. Here, a decent ball. Pasquid actually wins it back. It's a very hard angle to make anything from. Jane picks it up, has to play towards Luffy somehow, but loses out 
in pace to lens of course short pass maybe coming in no it goes a bit too wide totti can turn inside he's going for it but once again charged down chavo no opportunity given here from for Luffy to break free and pio as well misses an opportunity misses the second one chavo is running around them Luffy now duke could this be a red card yes it is it's a straight red to duke and quite early on a big opportunity here for another crew to finally make something of it duke one of the defenders as well he was positioned really low now it has to be lens maybe chavo maybe totti and Kiak probably going to be switching over to a more defensive mentality now here but that throw in was not very good didn't connect with Brewer and Kiak happy to just roll the ball around now keep it on their own side and ooh, well Luffy was close to winning it but Lenz picks it up Chavo could very well pass it back to the goalkeeper there but trying to find Totti I like that Kiak still trying to find opportunities to find some goals Luffy the goal kicker comes out it's really tough angle here Talua was free but once again Kiak is pretty much three men on goal line persistently now and they win the ball back as well Chin maybe trying to stop the header here no Pio misclicks it Pasquid is there and Totti already inside the box Pasquid that's a shooting opportunity but it hits the post and goes out and the long ball goes all the way back to the goalkeeper Kiak has already survived quite a lot of time of that red card and very well done so overall Pio good loft over to Luffy the Lobos haven't been finding too much action Jin with very late with the tackle makes a foul Pasky charging up already starting to shoot Brewer just standing in one place goalkeeper Paris Italo is there first Pio on the midfield actually two options there could find Luffy and he's going for it Luffy on the wing can he find Brewer maybe Talua there are players on the edge of the box Jin is inside he's the power he has the medium body Talua here he's going for the shot himself maybe tries to wiggle through but doesn't break through Brewer Francesco Totti still on his back really hard to move forward this way Pio trying to open up Brewer does get it short pass in but Luffy doesn't reach it Chavo long ball and it goes on the top of Pesquit Nak happy to take the throw in but Duke will be back any second in the game now so Kiak have done excellently so far and you know another crew's power play has been <laughs> minimized and there comes the third goal for Kiak and they have the red card right now they are one man less and they still scored that's the impact right now they have on the game their attacks have been quite fluid and it's really hard to stop Jin Pio picks it up could have been a pass to Totti and would have been even worse there Chavo well very very good foul there I think that was Pasquid's foul I guess in the end and Kiev just not letting not a crew through anymore Pio over to Brewer just a tiny little bit of space on the left wing plays over to Luffy nicely lends with a clean tackle and Luffy no chance there no penalty for another crew no nothing Talua will reach it fights for the right tries to send Chavo away from himself Pio charging up for a shot but he was caught sleeping and Totti is charging up the field here is Francesco Totti this is going to be four for Kiak and not a crew this game has been probably even worse than the last one no real sharpness in attack and Totti just wins it back with ease they just rush through another crew looks like their players are invisible at this point Pasquid though doesn't hit the header Chavo lens maybe go trying to go for a shot himself over to Totti maybe can't get it to Pasquid no shoots himself and that's five assist going to Lenz there as you know the crew are just being dismantled now and the goals are piling up Lenz long ball over Pasquid tries to play himself past Jin reliant effort but Jin was still in position and managed to block Lenz out well about 
six seven in game minutes left that won't be enough for another crew to make a comeback here but at least maybe a consolation goal could still be on the cards there brewer goes for a shot himself several tackles thrown in but still not going on target po picks it up over to brewer not a crew really wanting that one goal at least Gets it to Pio. No, Luffy picks it up. Talua is free. But once again, it goes out of the box too far. Francesco Totti blocking the header attempts. And Kiak once again on the counter attack. They have the numeric advantage as well. Jin Pasquet evades the tackle perfectly. Will he pass it to Totti? Yes, he will. And Totti even gets a yellow to Brewer with that. And 6 0 for Kiak. Jin. Trying to find Brewer, but nothing coming out of it. Totti over to Pasquit again. Definitely looking for a seventh there as well. Pio, well, nearly getting through two players, but it was a bit too optimistic. And that pass was just too fancy already. It's the 90th minute, and that is going to be game over as soon as the ball reaches the halfway line. And here it is. It is 6-0 for Kiak. 2-0 in the third place game series. And Kiak has got the third place in this season's TPM Cup. Of course, uh, like I said already, tune in for tomorrow as we will be seeing the final being played between Tiki Tackle and New Factory, hosted by me and Dilval. But uh, so long, good night, guys.